Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Food Tech Innovation. For some time now, we have been planning this event, and it turns out that food is very popular. It was a big <laughs> surprise to many of us. <laughs> but it turns out food is a popular topic. I'm sure you've had some already. Um, so we combined three things, food, tech, and innovation. I don't know which one you're here for today, but we're trying to combine all of them. Uh, in combination, it's uh, pretty unbeatable. It uh, turns out quite uh, an important topic at MIT. I think we have a lot to show for here. Let me just spend one minute um, telling you why we're here and what this event is about and what it's part of. So we are building a community um, that's uh, tying together uh, the serial co-founders of companies uh, in the MIT ecosystem together with large corporates that are members of our uh, industrial liaison program. Um, and we're also uh, connecting this uh, event and the program to other innovation players uh, around MIT, of which there are many. Uh, and we have uh, the faculty lead of the Deshpande uh, Center here, who's a speaker. So you'll hear probably a little more about that as well. Uh, our ingredients for, for this community is uh, workshops as this. We also have a database of startups where we provide the opportunity for corporates to connect with those startups and vice versa. Uh, and we also have uh, a few other services that we're uh, launching. This is a new initiative. If you hadn't heard about us before, that's normal. We've been a month old. Uh, we've been in beta for a year before that. MIT is a good place for entrepreneurs. It's almost an unfair advantage. We have a lot of them in the room today. These are faculty, professors who uh, are also founding, on, in a serial manner, companies and enabling innovation at the same time. So this is really the fusion of theory and practical application. Uh, these are some of the clusters that we have divided our startups into. There's uh, um, many of them, seven clusters in fact. Food, of course, joins many tech clusters together. So I think here we have representatives of certainly biotech, healthcare, and IT, but maybe also other areas. Certainly na nanotech is, is relevant to this. You'll see that when we get to the companies. The way to engage with us apart from this workshop is through membership. And you can be a member as a startup if you have a MIT connection. If you are a corporate, you can be a member. Uh, it's a paid membership, and it's typically larger uh, corporations that find this interesting, but also governments and other players. We have a lot of startups um, here today. I'm just going to show you some non-food uh, startups, or at least food star uh, startups that I, I didn't know had a food connection, just to give you a sense of what this community is about. Squeeze Biotech, we have featured them in an earlier event. Fantastic startup founded, um, co-founded by a uh, professor from three, three different labs here at MIT, shows that um, to succeed with a startup, sometimes you actually need to work together which is no um, easy task. Dropwise is another collaboration. Fantastic coding. I won't go into the details. I'm just going to show you some of the beautiful products. Uh, Nometra here, a bio watch that measures stress. Um, Jibo, maybe the first world's first emotional robot. Uh, Ember Labs, Wristify, so a, a hand, a, a bracelet, actually, that impacts your uh, uh, sense of being cold or warm, if you would believe it. And then we have Form Labs, and this is a printed speaker. And Luminoso, uh, to represent our, our big data uh, startups here at MIT. Food tech innovation, essentially we're here because we wanted to put on the agenda the fact that there are so many changes, even over the last three years in this area. A lot of them, we think, stem from changes in technology, but there's also an important consumer angle here. So we're here to discuss these changes. We're here to discuss the breakthroughs. Where are they coming from? Where's the next breakthrough coming from? And what, what's hype and what's real? I am, without further ado, going to introduce Carl Koster, Executive Director of uh, the Industrial Liaison Program, for an introduction um, about ILP and our initiative. Carl, 